Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I'd like to greet the brethren with the peace of the Lord Jesus. And also the ones who are, who are online. Also, we greet with the peace of the Lord Jesus. I'd like to invite the brethren to stand up. We're going to read the Word of God. Which is in the book of 1 Kings. 1 Kings. 1 Kings chapter 19. Chapter 19. We're going to read verse 13. First Kings 19. Verse 13. Have the children found it? And yes, they found it. So the children found it. I believe that everyone else ha also have found. If you didn't find, or if today, you need to be in the projection so that the brethren can follow. This says the word of God. So it was when Elijah heard it that he wrapped his face in his mantle and went out and stood in the entrance of the cave. Suddenly a voice came to him and said, What are you doing here, Elijah? Only to, to hear, my brethren. Lord, we praise your name. Continue with us. Is the prayer that we say to you in the name of Jesus. The church may be seated. The Lord, He, in this word, He bring, He give us a teaching, a teaching that truly the Lord wants to give to us so that we may grow spiritually. And the Lord tonight, he has shown that there were angels here. And those angels, they have plates. And they were serving us bread and water. And in the spiritual gift was seen that we have had enough plenty with the bread and the water that was served but also in the spiritual gift there were a few that did not give enough worth to it which is very common when somebody offered to us something to eat right sometimes you go to a place and we we're not hungry but people are offering you something then you can say oh I'm fine I'm not gonna eat or drink anything and in the spiritual gift was they they saw that there were a few people that did that. My brethren, blessing you should not reject. Heavenly food is not to be rejected. And in this word in this text that we just read. Elijah, he was in a place, he was in a cave, so that the brethren may understand the context. He comes out of a great victory against the Baal prophets. The brethren already know. And there the Lord gives him a great victory to Elijah and for the people, Jewish people, against that idolatry. But the word says that Jezebel 
sends a message to Elijah. She was the queen. And she said, because of what you have done, you're going to die. And at that moment, Elijah was taken over by extreme fear in his life. And the word says that he runs away towards the desert. He runs away to escape with his life. And several events take place. And Elijah was visited by the angel of the Lord that brings bread and water to him. <coughs> brings bread and water to him. And also brings a message from the Lord saying, eat, drink, because your journey is going to be very long. And Elijah, he, the word says, he comes to the mount of the Lord. He goes to the Mount Horeb and he stays there in a cave. Truly, we understand through the word that Elijah's path should not have been this one. But because Elijah was afraid, he runs away. And there he has an experience with the Lord. He hears the voice of the Lord. And now the question of the Lord to Elijah was, what are you doing here? Elijah, he comes as a prophet and he comes after a series of victories. But now God asks Elijah, what are you doing here? And my brother, many times we find ourselves as Elijah. We have received a victory from the Lord and receive another victory from the Lord. And we we know the God whom we serve. He's not just like any other God. He's not like the gods that we knew before. Surely many here were raised or introduced to other gods. Do like this or in that way it's going to work out. But one day, we met the Lord. And what we heard was the voice of the Lord. And the voice of the Lord says the following, My child, you are going to do this way. Yes, Lord, yes, you are going to do it that way. The path that you're going to take is going to be this path. And many times we doubt this. Uh, shortly, a brother from the intercession group was saying that the Lord told him to say to do this, and I doubted. I didn't do what God told him to do. And then he said, what happened was that everything went wrong. This is something that is innate to us. But when we have a couple of experiences with the Lord, what the Lord expects from us is that we do His will. The Lord also gave a spiritual gift tonight about a man. This man is the head of a household. And he comes tonight here. He is repented. And you know why he is repented? The spiritual gift 
said that he was asking for a direction from the Lord. And do you know what the Lord did? He gave him the direction. God gave you the direction, my brother. That is here. The Lord is speaking with you, and He gave you the direction. But He did the opposite of what God showed you. And now you come here asking the Lord for mercy. And the Lord heard you. What a glorious God. God forgives us and has mercy of us. And we just sang a song just sang a song that said, I came back to you, O Father. Speaks very much about the Son that asks for his riches and goes out in the world to spend it. And many times we go through this text we don't understand and read the word receive riches from the Lord all the time his care is a direction from the Lord my son don't go that way don't do it like that we are on a path that will lead to eternity so that we can live with the Lord that will lead to eternal life. And the way is Jesus. And the Lord is instructing to us, here's the path, here's the way, walk in it follow this instruction. And Elijah, he was also in the same situation. He was in the cave. And the question of the Lord is, what are you doing here? Declare to the Lord, what, have, what, what is your intention when you came here tonight? What are we doing here tonight? We are here to meditate on the Word of God. What are you doing here? So Elijah gives an answer to the Lord. What Elijah wanted was to say, Lord, I have done everything, Lord. I can't withstand it anymore. Take me to the eternity. Take me to heaven. And the word of the Lord to Elijah was the following. The Lord said the following on chapter 15. And the Lord told him, after all the, the justification that Elijah gave, it tells Lord, and being very zealous, they are trying to kill me. And the Lord tells him, Hey, you're not supposed to be here, Elijah. Go back to the path. Go back to your path. Towards the desert of Damascus. Come and anoint Israel, king of Syria, and Jehu, son of Nizi. You will anoint him king of Israel and also to Elijah, Elisha, son of Sephach, Asbel, Miola. You will anoint him prophet in your place. So that Elijah's journey had not was not over. He needed to anoint two kings. He, an, he needed someone to take his place so that he could go forward and Elijah there he receives a blessing from the Lord but my brethren we need to understand that God's blessing 
only comes when we hear God's voice. If we, if we have our ears paying attention, we have heard a lot about this type of listening, right? Hearing the sound of the trumpet. But I don't hear the trumpet sounding but we see the signs. Hear the voice of the Lord, my brethren, is to be in fellowship with the Lord, is to understand when the Lord is going to speak. Elijah had this experience when he was in the cave. The word says that a great earthquake came Surely, he could have said, hey, the Lord is mighty. It's the Lord who is here. It was not. And also, there was a fire. The word says that the Lord is, is consuming fire. But the Lord is not, was not in there. But one thing that G Elijah could discern very well was the voice of the Lord. And we need to discern very well the voice of the Lord and understand when the Lord is speaking with us. Hey, is the Lord. Is the Lord who is speaking. We cannot get confused with this. Glory to Jesus.
Elijah, he heard God's voice. And the word says that the Lord, that he, Elijah, does what God instructed him to do. He anoints the kings. He meets with Elijah, Elisha, and he does God's will completely. And you know what happened afterwards? Elijah is is taken up to heaven in a cart of fire, chariot of fire. And if we do God's will, we are going to be raptured with Elijah. We are going to go up in a chariot of fire, glorify the Lord, praise Him, and saying, God, we came to this place. I would like to invite the church to stand up. We're going to have a word of adoration to the Lord. Lord, we praise you because how good it is to be part of the church that has heard the voice of the Holy Spirit. Lord, we praise you because you loved us first. You have not deceived us. Because the prophetic moment in which we are living, you have prepared your people so that one day we can be face to face with our God. What a privilege, Lord. We thank you, Lord, because there is no God as great as you are. In the name of Jesus, amen. Or to Jesus. have a God who is so good to me. Lord, our glorification, our service of exaltation to your name. Continue with us. The prayer to say to you in the name of Jesus. 
Hey, Amen, my brethren. Sure, you may be seated. If you still need an assistant or assistance of clarification, we'll have a conversation. The church will be here to give you assistance, to pray to you, to hear your experience with the Lord. It is a source of great joy because we have a God that speaks to us. And we rejoice when you hear somebody say to us, look, God speak to me, spoke to me. So I wish the whole church the peace of the Lord.